What's up, Caps Nation? Lockie here. We're joined today by the women's head coach, Michael Carney. Thanks for joining me today, mate. Oh, thanks, Lockie. Thanks for having us. Awesome. The women are off to a good start. Uh, yeah. Four and one. Yeah, respectable um, start. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, um, you've had the road trip to Gladstone. Um, you've had a few positive wins, the back to back with Logan, the last mm. two weekends. How's the group feeling, and what are a few things you're focusing on for this season? Uh, the group harmony has really come together. The uh, the senior players are really taking on a leadership role. Of their young group, mm -hmm. and we've got a lot of young players coming through, and we've got a young a lot of train-ons too that attend training, and the couple of senior players are developing the leaderships to take on and develop those young girls. So it's coming together. You know, the girls are happy, and that's the main thing, and yep. we're working together as one. No, that's good. You had the round one matchup against North Gold Coast, mm -hmm. which are arguably one of the strongest teams in the comp right now. You've got them coming up this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, you've seen them play before without taking me too much behind the strategy. What are a few things you guys are planning to, to do this weekend to give them a run for their money? I think as long as the team uh, works on the uh, our goals, you know, our transition, our half-court defense, um, working as one. You know, mm -hmm. Don't try and win the game off your own bat. Uh, yeah. I think the uh, trust is coming there every week, so as long as we continue that building function towards the finals, I'll be more than happy, yep. whatever the result is. Yeah. And you spoke about it a bit just then, obviously having Paris and Shaley, they've been yeah. playing really well. I guess you consider them veterans on the team. Yeah. What's it like to have them and, and what type of role do they play with some yeah, of the other Yeah, Shaley players? and uh, Paris have been you know, excellent you know, the last couple of years, and Paris three years now. and it's, I feel for it because every year we go through about 75% of our team changes over and this year was no, you know, another example of that. It's a brand new squad except for really Shaley and Paris and in a lesser extent Gabby. Mm -hmm. And so um, they get frustrated at times, but at the same time uh, they're very supportive of the young ladies and, um, and we're developing the group, group of athletes. Yeah. Yeah, and that younger end of the team then, because a few of them would have came from the under 18s. Yeah, a few um, came from under 18s. Yeah. Um, a few have moved to Brisbane from other areas, like Madeleine and up elsewhere, but yeah, they're comfortable, they're enjoying it, their parents tell me they're enjoying it, so, yeah. and uh, loving the experience. No, it's good to see, and it's good to have that, I guess, the pathway with MBL1 available, to have mm. those players there ready to go at some point if they were to slot in in the future. Yeah, I think the current group is only a couple of players maybe uh, available to go up and play NBL 1, I say, this season. Yep. Uh, but I can see in a couple of years' time, because most of our young girls are only 16, mm -hmm. uh, 16, 17, some of them, and so they've got a couple of years, you know, to yep. develop. Yep. No, that's awesome. And now, at the same time as coaching the QSL women, you've got the under under twelve boys yeah, the under gold. 12 gold boys, yeah. Um, on the weekend, uh, semi finals for SQJVC went down to the top of the table, uh, Gold Coast team. Yes. Um, now I guess the focus switches to state champs. What are you yeah, guys going to be looking to? Definitely, the focus switches to state champs. But yeah, really proud of that group. Uh, really, a lot of young boys who are learning to play the game, learning to read what's in front of them, sharing the ball. Um, we try and incorporate a bit of fun at training as well as some individual and group skills and they've come a long way. Yeah, yep. they've really come a long way um, and it's still a long way to go. It's not about winning under 12s or doing well at the state champs, it's getting them ready for under 14s, six, 16s and 18s. Yep. You know, I'm a great believer and so is my coaching staff uh, about developing players for the future, not for now. You know? yep. So it's uh, good. Um, and then I guess, well, Bruce Palmer was talking about last week about having a coach's philosophy. So I'm imagining coaching QSL women and then the under 12 boys gold, very different coaching style. But are, are there a few key things that you take, you could take into any team um, to make them successful? Are there any philosophies you have? I really believe in harmony, number one. You know, you've got to get that team harmony amongst the playing and the mm -hmm. coaching staff. It's not one individual player you're aiming to uh, give all your support to or do all the uh, stuff on the court. It's uh, it's got to be a team approach, and getting the players to uh, really understand if they're off the ball, they're playing a, a great role in the offense. You yep. know, learning to move without the ball and create space and help out their teammates. That's the philosophy you've got to try and get into the younger boys, and some of the older QSL women are still learning that role. So, team harmony is very important. Um, and fitness. Yep. You've got to be fit to play basketball these days. 
you know, eight second offense is too long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, okay, final one then yep. for the QSL Women's League. Yes. Um, if you were making a final two matchup, obviously we're, we're hoping Capitals are there. But who do you think will who do you think will be in that top two position I, come finals time? That's a hard question. There's uh, so many teams in the mix. Um, you know, there's a couple of teams underperforming at the moment. But yep. I think um, uh, North Gold Coast. You know, they're they're not playing NBL one. They've got a very strong team. Yeah. You know, they've got a great point guard and a great power forward. Um, USC have got a very experienced point guard and a very tall center, mm-hmm. and they're playing well. But I think between the three of us, we'll be uh, in the finals somewhere. Okay, awesome. All right, well, thanks for joining me. Hopefully, hey. we can catch up uh, before the finals then yep. when you're in there. Um, but yeah, we'll have a chat then. Appreciate I love it. it. I love it, Lockie. Appreciate Thank it. you very much. Thank you.